What is up guys, Freedom one here and welcome to my live reaction to Dr. Stone episode 16. So last week's episode, episode 15, we had Senku win the tournament and basically become the new village chief and he was meant to marry Ruri. But he decided to force Ruri instead because he didn't really care too much about that. So that kind of leaves it open for Chrome to marry Ruri. Um, but she also basically, we also found out Senku's full name. It's Senku Ishigami or Ishigami Senku. And the village is called Ishigami Village. So what's the connection? There is a big connection and we're going to find, I'm feeling like we're going to find out today. I do know the connection. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys out there who are only anime viewers. But without any further ado, let's get into it guys. Three, two, one. One, starting from the start, let's go. I'm ready. I know you guys are as well. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, Ishigami Village. Sick. Huh? He's freaking out. Got a little bit. So how does Ruri know about him? That's the question. Right. The question is, how does she? How does Ruri know about? Okay. Okay. So it looks like Senku's figured it out. <laughs> so now it makes sense to them. Okay. He comes out in the mythology. Okay, the hundred tails. Okay, there's Rui. Yeah, so that's how Rui learned the hundred stories by from her mother, who was the previous priestess. Hundredth story of the hundredth tales. Oh, it's called Ishigami Senku. Woo, yeah. We're getting some answers now, guys. Like, honestly, we are starting to get some answers to the mysteries of, like, the village, how they came to be there, and all that. So we're starting to find out stuff like that. While we get through this intro. But yeah, there's... We're going to get some... We're going to get some answers today, I think. Because, as we just found out at the start there, um, the mythology. Those hundred stories... Are very very important to this story, so I think even up to now I did read the latest chapter of Doctor Stone. We haven't heard all the stories, so but there's a lot in regards to the stories that actually make sense and um, actually add to the overall story and the overall mystery of what went down and how things ended up the way they are. So yeah. But I'm not going to say too much more about it, so. But as we stand at this point, we're Senku, the new village chief. And we do see scenes in this intro that hint to what's going to happen, so. A tale for the ages. Let's go, episode 16. I'm ready, I'm ready, guys. I am physically ready. Let's do this. 
All right. So we got a young Senku. Okay. Other moon. Okay. Okay, we're getting a little bit of hints here. We're getting hints here. Uh -huh. <laughs> what kind of preschooler are you? <laughs> okay. No, I'm going immediately. <laughs> Okay, so we got a little thing of. It was a university. So we're on the side, we got a young Senku here. Okay. So there's <laughs> Okay. Interesting. For the, like primary school kid, man, he's smart. I'm gonna tie you there. What the hell's that? <laughs> okay. Don't butterfly. Okay. Okay. I do know who this guy is. I'm not going to mention it for those of you who are only watching the anime. But you guys might have an idea. Eh, Biakia-san!
Yep. There we go. Confirmation. That is Senku's dad. All right. So he's, he, he became an astronaut like he's a dream. He's going into space, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. So his father's the one who started the the village, which is crazy. That is nuts, man. Like that is like crazy. So Ishigami Byakuya is the one who started the village. So the docking at the International Space Station. <laughs> Some with no balls, I love. I didn't drink, I love it. <laughs> Yakov the husband. <laughs> okay. Did you see my assist? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Looks like he's such an ass. He's stirring this shit out. I love it. I don't like the music's in English, too. So.
tied you there in Sukasa. Udahara. Okay. <laughs> the record like shaver. Okay, so it looks like So it looks like he's he's looking into the petrification already. <laughs> he's such an ass. Okay. Interesting. And he's asleep. Okay. Interesting. Looks like he's putting the moves on him. <laughs> he's such an idiot. It'll shock you. Hello, <laughs> so he brought specifically made ramen. Oh. Is that a okay? So they're seeing the thing that's happening. It's just, what the hell is that? Back to the start of the series, the green light. Mm -hmm. 
that the biggest mystery right there. What the hell petrified the entire world? Okay, so they're trying to figure out what's going on. So they avoided it. So this is how they got around it, because they were in space. They're looking at life, yeah. No matter where they look, everyone's turned to stone. Okay, what's Biakia going to come up with? The last six humans. Nice. There we go, guys. That is episode 16. Wow. So we pretty much found out who Senku's dad is. Um, we found out how Senku's dad managed to survive. Basically, he survived because he was... You know, just, yeah, he's... He basically he survived because he was in sp um, in space. So there's only six people left, which is kind of scary when you think about. It. So if you think about it, they're in a spaceship that the International Space that they see this big yellow thing on top of the world and this green light goes. Shoom. Next thing they know, they see everyone's petrified, right? So basically turned to stone. Dude, that's kind of crazy if you think about. It. But anyway, that is it. Uh, Next episode is called A Hundred Nights and A Thousand Skies. I'm very curious about how this is going to play out and all that kind of jazz. So I'm really, really interested to see how this is going to play down. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. I've got a couple of little answers here in how the village came to be formed. Um, and, you know, Senku's dad and all that kind of jazz and why a lot of the people from the village are actually descendants and not people who have been basically woken up, who were petrified. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. As always, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time with another live reaction. Peace.